Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. This video is going to be all about how to create like amazing maps, very like aesthetically pleasing and stuff like that. If you're interested in that kind of video, um, make sure to like the video. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out and uh, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Now this game is my personal project, so I'm not going to show off too much. I'm just going to show some basic aspects that um, kind of make your game stand out more. First thing I'd like to mention is basically color variations now this can be for anything really um i primarily use it for rocks as you can see i have a darker shade rock and then a lighter shade rock and then like the normal shade rock now this adds kind of like depth to your game it makes more makes it more aesthetically pleasing and then i add these um leaves and plants on top and all that kind of stuff which kind of um makes it stand out more and it brings it more to life and then if you blend like small assets like these rocks, which are really low poly, um, I've disabled collisions on them as well, so you can't interact with them. It's like small detail that is it's optimized well because it's not many polygons and you kind of attach it onto the rocks and it adds this small level of detail, um, which a lot of people overlook. Like some people would just shove the rocks against the uh, kind of the terrain and then not do anything with it. If you kind of blend all these mixture of things together, you kind of get this this nice looking um, wall here of just rocks that are built up to um, built on upon each other and stuff like that, which um, overall builds on the look of the uh, the um, the actual scene. And if you have leaves and stuff like that, adding small flowers like that just adds a little bit of color, so it stands out more. So basically, variation and then um, building onto the assets. Like realistically, if you find a rock out in the uh, anywhere, basically you can't, you might have some moss on it, you might have some leaves on it, stuff like that. It's kind of building on realism, but at the same time not because it's a video game, obviously. So just bear that in mind when you're kind of creating games and stuff like that. Another really important thing um, when it comes to making maps is points of interest. So you, you're going to obviously have your, your basic map, um, you know, you're going to have your plants, your trees and all that kind of stuff. And then you want some points of interest that kind of build to the appeal of the overall map. For example, there's uh, this whole beach is based on like a, a shipwreck. As you can see, there's different parts of like planks and all that kind of stuff to build onto the scene. And then you kind of have this larger scale object, which is like a rowboat, which kind of um, develops onto the scene here. If you if you kind of have um, just planks, for example, um, you wouldn't know what it's from. But the fact that if you put like an actual part of the ship there, it kind of builds onto the story of the game. You can kind of um, visualize a scene in your head, and you may not think about it like as you're making it and stuff like that. But it kind of builds onto the story of the game, and uh, kind of immerse players more basically into your game. And I mentioned these th these like small things because. Uh, as like a game designer you 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 pick the, these things up and they really help um you drive people to enjoy your games more so the key point is add stuff like points of interest that builds a story into your world whether it's something really basic or just some um part of a side quest or anything like that another small thing i'd like to mention is um a lot of the time people don't use sound effects for example I've got this little waterfall scene here I've placed a part which I'm gonna turn invisible and disable collisions once I'm kind of happy with it but I basically add a sound there um, as you can see here you I loop it and have it playing and basically when you walk past this bridge or something like that you can kind of hear the flowing river and like the water dripping down on the waterfall and stuff like that which just builds on the ambience and stuff of your scene some people just shove background music into the game and just expect the game to just look uh, amazing or feel amazing and all that kind of stuff but you need to remember to put sound effects in your game for example like birds chirping um, if you're on a beach you could have seagulls you could have uh, s like waves um, brushing in and stuff like that just remember to kind of build on the ambience of your game the last thing I'd like to mention is 
reuse your assets so for my game I'm kind of going for a stylized kind of texture look so I'm putting a little bit more effort into my assets as you can see I've got a texture around the plank um, to add, just add a little bit of uh, detail and like push out that stylized look but this is the original model and then I've kind of just created this ladder I've created this kind of um, bend that goes onto the robot here and I've kind of created this broken robot which doesn't need to have much detail because it's kind of destroyed and um, basically I went in blender and I've just textured this plank and then just edited the plank to kind of create a robot create a ladder and stuff like that so make sure you to reuse your assets look up references and stuff like that I recommend a website called sketchfab look up dioramas and stuff like that and you kind of get ideas for stuff like points of interest like big places that kind of stand out or objects that stand out in your uh, in your game and yeah that's about it for this video um, if you guys learned something new and you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on um, also like the video and that's gonna be it for me I hope you enjoyed the video and peace